Oh, let's see. What we got in the box here? We got a pair of those. And some stuff. Okay. Obviously, that is the part of the winch mount. Here's all the other stuff. And away we go. Okay, so there it is so far. Grill and old front bumper off. By old, I mean the Metal Tech 4x4 bumper. The tube style one I wasn't a fan of. Um, no real secrets here other than um, I would suggest getting this Lyle Tool 35460. I've resisted against getting one of these for a long time. And finally broke down and got one and it's the cat's meow for getting, you know, these kinds of clips up and out. And then you've got some some of the white ones that press in here, here, and here. It, it's the way to go. It saves you all the cussing and the headache of trying to use a screwdriver or needle nose pliers. And especially when you're in, you know, sensitive areas there, like that AC condenser, you, you don't want to mess around with any of that stuff. So that would be my suggestion on that part. Now, on to the installation. So this being the first winch I've ever installed, I don't know if they're all like this or not, but the Badlands uses a, you know, a, well, I can't even show it now on this one, but it's a, it's a captured nut in here is how it mounts. They're square, and you just slide them in. Just like so. And... I'm hoping that the bolts are long enough to go through this this plate and actually get this winch tight. I guess time will tell on that. Um, with the Smitty Belt bumper, they give you these big bolts to uh, to mount your winch, but I can't use that here because number one, <laughs> these are way too big for you know this Badlands winch hole, and it doesn't fit the mounting system anyway. So. Just know that. Let's put the bracket on here that comes with the light. And it slides down in here. Then slide the bracket down from the top. Okay. Then you're going to want to drop the, the lock nuts in here with the plastic side facing in. Okay. Then Get that thing through, get the cap screw started. Do that on both sides. And make sure that this is pointed straight up. Okay, now, take the bolt, you got your lock washer, your nut, and then the rubber mount piece. And then I put a flat washer on top of this because really, about the only way to mount this is this. slide it it's going to slide it up here and then uh, more or less get it centered I'll have to look at the front of it and see and then tighten that bolt down and that's exactly what I did over here uh, there's not much adjustment to them so that's about all there is to that And there, you can clearly see the problem, what they're talking about with that trimming the, the headlight mounting bracket. Um, and you can see where I've scratched up the, the Smitty Belt bumper up here, trying to figure out what the hell they were talking about. Uh, but I, I got it now. I see it. So that's what they mean by uh, you know measuring three inches back from the, the end of the bracket back here against the... Well, not the frame, but the front part of the car, the core support. Probably chop it off here. But then we've got that other bracket that still goes on here that I had to take off. Uh, that's going to have to be modified too because, because it's what holds all of this stuff in place. So with that, with that bracket off, uh, you know, you could see some of the problem that was down in there. Um, with that bracket off, 
you know, I was able to see and get this thing forward enough to see what I need to do, but we're gonna have to put that other bracket back on because it connects and holds all this stuff steady. I, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that yet. Stand by. Okay, here's where I'm at now, people. I've got these back on. I put some primer on those because you know you just ask for trouble if you don't do something there to protect that metal that you cut. And it looks like I test fitted the bumper, and it looks like these are gonna have enough flex in them to just kind of flex down and out of the way uh, and the bumper is going to slide over the top of that and of course nowhere in the instructions does it tell you that this centerpiece here has to come out and it looks like stay out okay so I tried it with uh, this piece back in place here and it, it's not going to work uh, because the, the clearance here the way they've made this top channel uh, you just can't push front part of the bumper back far enough so it looks like you just got to run without that on and I don't suspect it's too big of a deal I don't think you really need it for here it just you know ties the front together a lot better uh, you know kind of like the rug really ties the rim together but whatever um, I guess now it's just bolting there, there's the two big bolts on basically each side of, of the bumper there and then it's it's on at that point. That's definitely that. Uh, a lot of stuff they don't show you in the directions that is certainly infuriating. But that's the nature of made in China stuff. And then if you're using the Badlands winch, mounting this winch controller, you know, it's kind of a pain. Like I showed, you're going to have to drill new holes into those mounting brackets for this, but it becomes kind of a dance. Uh, you kind of got to assemble it in stages to where you get this wire. I had to take this wire off the box so that I could wire it onto the bottom of the motor when I had the winch out. So you got to get this back uh, secured into the box, which means the lid has to be off for that. So that means that when you get that secured, you're on kind of a short tether here. Uh, then you've got to hold this up, put the four screws that go up through the bottom into the corners here. Then you have to undo that part of the cable fasteners. There's four of them. And slide those back, slide the whole thing on top of the winch, tighten the mounting screws down right there, right there. Then you got to slide those nuts back up on here and it is super easy to get these cross threaded. And if you do that, then you wind up uh, screwing up how they're mounted on the inside of the box. So Take a light, be very careful. They should thread on real easy. If they don't, stop and do it again. So that's kind of the order of operations of this. If you put the lid on before you do that little cable and, and you forget about that and it, it's just, you can't mount this and then mount the lid later because the screws come up from the bottom. So that's kind of that. Okay, now take your, your little steady screwdriver. If you got the ratcheting Milwaukee, kind of the way to go here. Tighten her down. Winch controller mounted. And now finally, it is wired up and working after much ado. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to screw up the spooling of it, but you know, the wiring on this is uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, it's easy to understand. It's not so easy to do on this particular winch here. Uh, these are really color-coded. So there's two red wires and then two black wires, but the ends have all these uh, caps on them. And then the terminal on the motor, there's a red washer here, a yellow washer here, a black washer here. So you can't really screw these up. One of the biggest challenges, though, 
that I'm sure, you know, if you're looking at doing this style winch, you probably read it. There is one terminal. I don't think I can really show it. You see that black wire down there? It fastens to the bottom side of this of this winch motor. And if you don't put that on before you install the winch in, you know, this top shell of the bumper, on this style of winch, you're going to wind up having to take this shell off to get that negative cable on there. And it also, uh, this ground wire that comes from the controller box also goes to that bottom lug per the instructions. So, you know, that's just kind of that. One of the other things that, uh, I'll get back to the wiring in a second. One of the other things I learned was you, you got to feed the, the cable through uh, the slots on the bumper and this fair lead while you're putting it together or you're going to wind up taking this roller fair lead off like I did to get this cable through because uh, you know if you've messed with winches before and I haven't you'll know that wire is stiff as all freaking get out and I thought I could just you know down in there I thought I could just manhandle this thing and get it up and over but you can't the wire is too stiff there ain't no way. So I wound up having to take this off, which is a total pain because those uh, nuts are way down there. Anyway, just feed that through as you're assembling everything. Now, up here on the battery side of things, obviously here is the negative cable going to our negative post, and I'm not super happy with the way it's routed or attached, um, but I'm just gonna leave it for right now. This thing here I don't like either. That's the electric fan that someone else put on here that's way too small. Over here though, what I want to show you is uh, specifically this. And I put a new positive terminal on here. Um, it is a doorman. There it is. 926882. This is actually for a, I don't know, a Lincoln Continental or something like that. But I've run across this before. I've used it before. It comes with this piece too that I didn't use. Uh, but what's cool about this is that you can kind of retrofit it for something like this. Put this on here, you've got a lug here, you've got a lug here, and you've got a lug right here that you can utilize for all of your extra connections. And I think it's awesome, especially when you've got this circuit board, uh, circuit breaker board that comes off of uh, the winch like that, because this is the, the power cable down to the winch. Um, and then this is the power for the electric fan over here. This is power for the fog lights that go in the bumper down here. This is power for other fog lights someone else has put on here. So you wind up getting a whole bunch of stuff. And if you don't upgrade it, you are going to be trying to hook all of that stuff onto this wimpy thing right here. This was the stock one. And I mean... You can just tell. This is just a way better way to do business. Uh, just again, something I've run across in the past. 92682 at AutoZone. They're not cheap, it's about $28, but I don't know what's gonna work better. The only other thing I would say on this is uh, leave the grill off until you're totally done wiring everything up, getting your bumper and your winch installed. Otherwise, you're gonna wind up taking it back off. Because the only way that you can get the shell mounted to the, the core of the bumper here is really to reach one hand in here and the other hand up from the bottom. So you're kind of hugging this corner of the bumper to get the bolt started into those nut plates. And of course, the same thing on this side. You can't do that with the grill in place.